topic is solving differential equations using undetermined coefficients and we're using the annihilator approach. Uh, so let's do this example. First, we need to solve second derivative of y plus 25y equal 2 sine x. So to solve this homogeneous equation, first we solve, we find the complementary function, which is the solution for the, the, homo, for, for the homogeneous one. So we need to solve the non-homogeneous one. So plus 25 equals 0. So how do we solve this? Characteristic equation will be m squared plus 25 is equal 0 which means m squared is equal to negative 25 so m1 is equal 0 plus 5i m2 is equal to negative 5i which is 0 minus 5i so by looking at this we know that alpha is 0 beta is 5 all right, so the complementary function would be C1 e to the m1x, which is 5, well, actually, messed up here. It's going to be e to the alpha x, means 0x, factor of C1 cosine of beta x, beta is 5, plus c2 sine of beta x, which is 5x. So yc is equal c1 cosine of 5x plus c2 sine of 5x. The next step is we need to find the the form of the particular solution. So we're looking for an upward operator that annihilate to sine x. Now, by looking at number three, let me write it here, we know that d squared, the operator d squared plus beta squared will annihilate sine of beta x and of course even if it's a number times sine of beta x so basically we have two sine of x we want to know what would annihilate it I mean you can tell beta is one the coefficient of x so it would be d squared plus one squared will annihilate that annihilate means it will give you a zero when you operate on that function all right, now what do we need? Now let's go back, we go back to the original equation. Original equation says second derivative of y plus 25y is equal to sine x, which means if we use operator, this is the same thing as d squared plus 25 operated, at, uh, operated on y is equal to sine x. Now what we do, we we use the operator d squared plus 1 and operate it on both sides. Why do we do that? Because if we do d squared plus 1 operate it on the left side and then same thing d squared plus 1 operate it on the right side. Now we know that the right side is going to be 0 because d squared plus 1 will annihilate to sine, the function 2 sine x. So therefore, we have d squared plus 25y. We only need to solve homogeneous equation, which is pretty easy. So how do we solve this? The characteristic equation will be m squared plus 1 times m squared plus 25 y, I mean, equals 0, which means m squared plus 1 is 0, or m squared plus 25 is 0. So m squared is equal to negative 1, m squared is equal to negative 25. 
So M1 is negative or I, M2 is negative I, and then from this one we get M3 which is 5I, and then M4 which is negative 5I. Now using the first two we'll get, so Y will be C1, I mean um, E to the alpha x, so here alpha is 0, beta is 1, here alpha is 0, but beta is 5, so y will be equal to E, alpha x will be 0x, factor of C1, cosine of beta x, beta is 1, so cosine of x, plus C2, sine of x, now plus, again, E0x, but this time, this one will be C3 cosine, the beta is 5, so I'm looking at this one, so 5x plus C4 sine 5x, so actually, y is equal C1 cosine x plus C2 sine x, plus C3 cosine of 5x plus C4 sine of 5x, right? Now, how do we know Yp? Since, if you look at this, this is a Yc, so this should give us the Yp. So Yp will have that form. Now we know that Yp has to be A times cosine x plus b sine x. So how do we find how do we find a and we need to find a and b. So to find a and b we need to find first yp prime which is derivative of a cosine. Derivative of cosine is minus sine so minus a sine x. Derivative of sine is cosine so plus b cosine x and then the second derivative Derivative of sine is cosine, so minus a cosine x. Derivative of cosine is minus sine, so minus b sine x. By looking at the equation right here, I know I'm going to need yp prime and yp. I don't even need y prime, yp prime. So let me rewrite it. Second derivative of y plus 25y is equal to sine x so plug in yp prime will be minus a cosine x minus b sine x plus 25 the y is right here 25 times a cosine x plus b sine x and this is supposed to be equal to sine x now, distributing and factoring, let's do it in two steps, minus a cosine x minus b sine x plus 25a cosine x plus 25b sine x, and this is 2 sine x. Now, let's factor the cosine first. Well, actually, this is just going to be 25a minus a is 24a cosine of x. And then 25 minus 1b sine would be plus 24b sine x. Then this is equal to sine x. So let's write plus 0 cosine x, right? So... This is equal to, and this is equal to 0. So 24a is 0, 24b is 2, which means a is equal to 0, and b is equal to 2 over 24, which is 1 over 12. Now this means that yp is, where is yp is right there, 0 times cosine x, plus b times sine x 
So yp is equal 1 over 12 sine x. Now that I find yp, I know my y is the complementary function plus the particular solution, so I'm done. The complementary, we already found it earlier, c1 cosine of 5x plus c2 sine of 5x, and then the particular solution will be 1 over 12 sine x, and that's it for this problem.